Today we are going to discover our stars and planets and everything in space. As you watch this PowerPoint and listen to the different voice clips on each slide, all you need to do is click to the next slide when you are ready and you've finished listening to each sound clip. Enjoy! Our solar system is made up of the following planets. Starting from the Sun, we have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Pluto is considered a dwarf planet. On this slide, you will see that there is a solar system song that you can listen to. Click on the YouTube link and enjoy the song. Gravity is one of the most important forces in space. It is a strong force that keeps the planets and their moons in their circular path as they travel around the sun. So basically gravity acts like a magnet. It makes sure that the planets and the moon stay close to the sun and spin basically around the sun in a circle or more of an oval shape to prevent them from moving around in space. When we look at an orbit, an orbit is the gravitationally curved path of an object around a point in space. In other words, if you look at the sun and all the planets that are traveling around the sun, that will be their orbit. It's like a special road that the planet travels on to continue going around the sun. It is a curved path because it's not a perfect circle. It's more like an oval. If you look in the picture, you will see the different orbits or different paths that the different planets follow. A solar system is made up of the sun and everything that orbits or circles it. This includes the planets and their moons, as well as meteors, asteroids and comets. Remember, the sun does not move. Everything else goes around the sun on those special orbits or the special path that they follow. Now we will look at a planet. A planet orbits around the sun and has enough mass to keep the planet's rounded shape. Planets are either made up of solids or gas. So a planet needs to have enough weight, in other words it needs to be heavy enough, whether it's made of solids such as rocks or gas, to be able to stay in a round shape. Next we will be looking at stars. These are not the twinkly little things we imagine in nursery rhymes. A star is made from huge clouds of dust and gas. It is so hot it glows. In other words, it is a huge ball of very hot burning gas. So stars are not actually the stars that we imagine. They're basically a big ball of gas, like a big ball of fire that is shining so bright and is so hot up in space that we can see it here on Earth. Most of the universe is just emptiness. There's nothing there at all. It's dark. That's space. But within the space, there are small amounts of stuff. So in other words, space is just a big open area. There's nothing there. It's dark. There's nothing happening in that area. But within space, which is a big, big area, there are different parts that we learn about in space. Some of the important things that we can find in space are asteroids, an asteroid belt, a meteor, a meteorite, and a comet. Now an asteroid is a chunk of rock and it can be any size. So you get small and big asteroids and it's basically a piece of rock that has broken off and then goes into space. An asteroid belt for our um, between the planets that we, we learn about basically we have an asteroid belt which is between Mars and Jupiter. So it basically also follows an orbital path around the sun, but it goes between Mars and Jupiter. And it's basically filled with asteroids 
and bits and pieces from space that get trapped within the asteroid belt. The next thing is a meteor. It's a rocket broken away from an asteroid or a comet. So it's basically a piece of an asteroid. So it's a little piece of that chunk of rock that then is floating around in space. A meteorite is what we call a meteor once it is land has landed on Earth. So in other words, if a piece of those rocks that is broken away, the meteor, has to land on Earth, we call it a meteorite. And the last one is a comet which is a frozen chunk of gas and dust. So that is usually why, because it's gas and dust, it's usually on fire, like a star, it's burning. And if it is traveling or moving, it creates that comet effect in the sky that we can sometimes see.